Our government's investment in digital scheduling and task management services company Schedulo is all about one thing, creating more high quality jobs for Queenslanders. Our state's world leading health response to COVID-19 has enabled a remarkable economic recovery. And we want to help companies like Schedulo take their business to the next level. Schedulo's growth has been amazing and it's going to continue to grow. That means more local jobs in software engineering and product development. It's why we're investing in Schedulo through our $100 million business investment fund. Schedulo software has enabled literally millions of people to receive a COVID-19 vaccination. But now the company wants to take it to the next level. And that's why our government is so excited to be supporting this amazing Queensland homegrown success story. I'm Ed Backhouse and I run customer at Scheduler globally. Scheduler is the mobile workforce management company for deskless workers. And so we've actually built a platform that is for deskless workers around the world. So um, our thesis as a company, if you like, is that um, the same underlying problems exist for mobile workers across many different sectors. So uh, if you're in solar, and installing and maintaining solar, or if you're in healthcare and dealing with home healthcare, um, the same underlying challenges of which skill, which person, which time, which place, kind of factoring those together to optimize the, the scheduling and rostering of your workforce, but also the execution of the work that happens um, away from a desk. We've looked at the totally addressable market and figured out that 80% of people don't work behind a desk in their jobs around the world. So there's an absolutely huge market for deskless workers. Our headquarters for product engineering are here in Brisbane, right here in the valley. And we're very proud of that, being Brisbane founded and uh, you know growing out of here. So uh, we've got our all our product people here, our engineers, developers. We've got about 80 staff here in Brisbane at the moment, but we're looking to, I would say, double that over the next 18 months.